na natin kung ano yung mangyayari if it is now a fraction. So, dito, tingnan natin ngayon kung ano yung magiging value ni focus, kung ano yung magiging value ni latus rectum, saka kung ano yung magiging value ni directrix. So, if you are given this one, if you are given this one, hanapin muna natin si focus. At alam natin na si focus, pwede siyang maging 0c o c0. But for this one, y squared. Therefore, alam natin agad uh, si y, 0. At si x, may value na c. Pero paano natin nahanapin si c? So, yun naman palagi yung problema. Hanapin yung value ni c. So, again, this is just the technique. Kuhanin natin si negative 1 half. So, kuhanin natin si negative 1 half. So, this will become negative 1 half is equal to 4c. So, cross multiply. Si 4 mapupunta dun sa denominator. And that is now equal to c is equal to negative 1 over 8. So, ganun lang yung technique natin na Nakuha mo na ngayon si c. Okay. Is this clear? So, that is the value of c. Therefore, the focus will be located at negative 1, 8, and 0. So, punta naman tayo ngayon kay directrix. So, alam natin, this is y squared. Therefore, yung equation ng line natin, which is the directrix, is x is equal to negative c. Therefore, x is equal to negative times negative 1 over 8. x is now equal to negative times negative positive 1 over 8. So, yun lang pala equation ni directrix. And the last one is the length of the latus rectum. So, ano ba yung LR? So, LR, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kung ano yung number agad doon. So, ano ba yung number na yun? That is 1 half. Hindi negative 1 half, ha? Dapat positive 1 half. Kasi, it is the absolute value of C. Or, kung ayaw mong maniwala, gumamit ka ng formula that the latus rectum is equal to 4 times the absolute value of C. And it is now equal to 4 times negative 1 over 8. Absolute value of negative 1 over 8 is positive 1 over 8. Therefore, it is equal to 4 over 8. And that 4 over 8, lowest term of 4 over 8 is 1 over 2 or 1 half. And we will be getting the same answer. Maliwanag po ba? If you are given this example, again, alam natin that the vertex is located at the origin. So, this one, ano yung naka-square? X squared. Kung naka-square yung X squared, malalaman agad natin that yung focus ay located sa x squared. Therefore, x coordinate of the focus is 0 and the y coordinate is equal to c. Paano natin nahanapin si c? Yun na, yun na naman ulit yung proble problema natin. So, kuhanin mo ulit siya. Kuhanin mo ulit yung number na yun. Ang gagawin natin is equate natin siya kay 4c. Therefore, it is equal to negative 8 over 5 is now equal to 4C. So, ang kailangan lang natin si C. Therefore, ibababa mo si 4. Imumultiply mo kay 5. So, that is equal to negative 8 over 4 times 5. Pero alam natin na pwede nating i-divide si negative 8 kay 4. At ang matitira sa atin is negative 2 over 5. And that is the value of C. Ayan, Juliana. So, nakikinig ka ba? Ito na yung uh, pagkuha ng C. Kasi ba diba, uh, yung pagkuha ng C, pwede naman natin itong i-divide kay 4, pero pwede din natin siyang i-multiply agad sa denominator. So, ganun lang siya. So, kung may fraction siya, palagi ang gagawin mo lang is i-multiply mo yung 4 dun sa denominator para makuha si C. So, ito na agad yung value ni C. Negative 2 over 5. Okay, so yung focus natin ngayon is located na kay 0 and negative 2 over 5. Punta naman tayo ngayon kay directrix. So si directrix, 
kung naka x squared yung formula natin or yung equation natin, si directrix mo dapat y. So, directrix now is equal to y is equal to negative c. Substituting c in the formula, ito ay magiging negative times negative 2 over 5. Negative times negative is positive 2 over 5. And that is now your directrix. So, paano naman ngayon yung pagkuha ng latus rectum? Okay, yung latus rectum, tingin ka ulit doon. Ano biniluga natin? Negative 8 over 5. Pero si latus rectum, positive. So, that is 8 over 5. Or, kung ayaw mo ulit maniwala, punta ka ulit sa formula ni latus rectum that this is equal to 4 times the absolute value of C. Or 4, what is C? C is negative 2 over 5. So, 4 times negative... Uh, 4 times the absolute value of negative 2 over 5 or 4 times positive 2 over 5. So that is 4 times 2, 8. So that is 8 over 5. So that is the length of the lattice rectum.